Good day, good day, everyone. Welcome back to day two of our tournament week. Um, we are still on the three-star charge attack, no purple tournament. So, yeah, there's not too much that's happened. So, where we left off yesterday, we'd gone five from five on attack and one from one on defense. Since then, uh, our defense went up, I guess, on day one. So, we ended up taking a couple losses and then three wins on day one to finish with four out of six victories, so A grade on that. But then since the turn of the new day, uh, the defense team has unfortunately lost three on the trot. So uh, we've dropped from A grade down to C grade, so you know, we just have to wait and see where that goes through the rest of today and into tomorrow as well. Um, but for now, we've gone A grade, then C grade on defense. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's crack in. So we've got Max Sol 3007. Um, I think I just go for it to be honest. Got Blue Strong against the, the two damage dealers and then uh, neutral and weak against the double doogle, but double doogles are on the one side so we can kind of just ignore him for a little bit, I think. Um, Alright. Let's go yellows and hope for some red tiles to pop in. Um, some blues would be nice though, like, let's be real. Um, because blues would give me the strong stack against that tank, but not to be at the moment. Uh, double tap on the left side for that accuracy. And then we'll line up some yellows to, to be able to fire off CMYK. Um, who gets whacked? Welch. That hurt a little bit. Um, inaccuracy not really helping me at much at the moment, but it's all right. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Mm. Not getting much help from my healer, am I? Um, I've not really gotten any blue tiles to speak of that have been in a useful spot. Oh, well, that was useful at least. A lot of dodges. Uh, this should hopefully kill another one. Get some healing going at last. And then... Uh, unfortunate to lose CMYK. Um, that's alright. Red tile, that's good. The double doogles are just doing their thing over there on that far side. I'm not too worried about them at this point in time because <clears throat> I am more or less able to keep Sam YK um, under the armor level and keep her health going down. So that's where I'm focusing all of my damage is just on that Sam YK. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd, once Sam YK is gone. There's no more damage threat, so it is just a case of outlasting the two healers. Um, so we'll be able to start on that now. Um, fortunately, yeah, as I said, neither of them are really doing much. Yes, they generate armor. Yes, they generate health, but they're not um, like that's all they can do. They can't really hurt me from here. Um, so I just got to make sure that I don't do exactly that and put too many tiles on them because um, the left hand side of the board ain't looking too tile friendly so that's alright we'll just have to keep working away on it I guess make what I can on the left and then just use special skills I guess to take out the, the double doogles um, Not really many opportunities on the left though at the moment to make any matches. Uh, let's go to the bottom one. Set off a bit of a cascade on the left. Gradually working them down. Alright, 
we should be able to kill one of these Dougals and then the last one shouldn't be too far behind. Oop, we've gone to the tiebreaker mode. <laughs> That's how you know it's taken too long to actually do a fight when you actually hit tiebreakers in a charged attack tournament. Really shouldn't happen, but yeah. Um, full health, full armor. Ugh, you're kidding. I thought that would kill him. Alright, pump a nickel, finish this please. There we go. So, first one done. Little bit of a, a stall fest, but you know, got there in the end. Um, Trickster is next, CMYK tank. Uh, I don't think I changed anything because I still want the blue strong against Pumpernickel, even though he's in the left wing and he's not fully leveled. I still want that extra damage. That green match is looking real juicy, so is the blue match next to it. I think I take it and see where the tiles land. Okay, uh, let's go this way, then I can take the reds to cascade the yellows. So we'll go reds into yellows into nothing. Thought maybe I might get even the blues down the bottom, but not to be. All right, get rid of all these useless tiles and then hopefully we get some of our colors coming in afterwards. So we got the blues charged, so we'll take them. Um, red grenade is on offer, but it is a little bit of a waste of, of all the red tiles, but not really any better opportunity. We got a nice dodge. All right, so now we'll double tap on Crash and Pumpernickel's side, and then take all of our red tiles. A lot of dodging happening on that left side there. Where did the dodge come from? Oh, it must be Crash's family bonus. Ugh. You're almost dead. All right, wasting a lot of yellow tiles, but I was hoping to get at least one kill, but didn't get any kills. All right, reds onto reds. Hopefully, please kill something. Nope, we don't kill anything. Oh my goodness. This is why I dislike facing Pumpernickel on the enemy team, because it genuinely takes forever when you've got 40% mischance happening. I love using it, don't get me wrong, but I hate facing it because it's just irritating. Okay, lost one pump, which is unfortunate. Hopefully we can kill... Ah, uh, ah, uh, now we've got the revives to deal with from Nash. Um, alright, let's do that. Green match. Another revive. At least we got rid of Crash. So we're down to... Two. Another revive. That's what, three? Three revives? Let's count four. Nah, just three. Three again. Okay. So now it's just a 4v1, so we should get through this now. Um, looking a little bit dicey there for a bit, but we should be okay. Even though Spikey is being a bit of a pest, he's not got a huge amount of damage output to worry about. Kill. Close. Kill. There we go. All right. Two done. Not looking forward to facing double leveled pumpernickels. Okay. <clears throat> Do I change? I don't think so is the answer. I might just real quick chuck one talent on 
both of these guys. So, I don't normally do it, but what I've done there is I've just activated the demolitions class. Um, just because there's both Pump Nickel and CM and um, Dougal on this defense team, so there is a fair bit of buffing, um, which I'd like to avoid if I can. Um, So by having the Demolitions Talent active, it just gives an opportunity for those two to dispel it. Um, let's go that onto Reds. Excellent, nice cascade of Reds. Um, let's just focus fire here. And then I guess we just take all of the Red Tiles. Seems like the best course of action there. So we saw some Demolitions Talent procking. Um, because we lost the damage share buff off of uh, Tannenbaum. So we got rid of Tannenbaum now, so now we can sort of focus on the rest. Um, we'll use CMYK immediately. And then no shell shocks. Not unsurprising, it is only like a 3% chance to activate, but still. Alright, so CMYK should be dead in the next turn. Ooh, actually, maybe not. Let's do that, just to make certain of it, if we can. Okay, cool. CMYK is dead. Pump and Nickel should die from the... Ooh, that's interesting. Blaze Talon. Uh, sorry, the High Noon Talon. I... I'll have to think about that a bit more. Um... With this, with this uh, accuracy, inaccuracy heavy defense, the um, the high noon talent or high noon family bonus might actually be worth pursuing because um, it deals a flat 150 damage to all enemies who already have the blind ailment active. So if I'm actively putting out blind ailment from multiple of my heroes, maybe it's worth pursuing. Maybe we'll see. Right, um, let's get these two pump nickels charged, and then see where that lands us. Um, Alright, so another fight where I'm not in danger of losing it, but because of the mischance that I've got from the enemy pump nickel, it is going to take a little bit to actually finalise it. Um, Particularly if we keep charging that Dougal variant. <laughs> a lot of damage coming in now though, so that's good. Nice big cascade, 8x cascade. Good start, and then hopefully skill damage is enough to carry us here. Yeah, there we go. Didn't even need CMYK's final shot. Alright, three down, two to go. Another... <laughs> Another Tannenbaum tank with a Dougal variant flank, so um, I don't see any need to change based on how that last fight went. If we get some nice tas tile cascades once again, um, I'll be pretty happy that we can close this one out as well. Alright, so Tannenbaum is fired. I'm not too concerned because I did make sure I had um, CMYK charged, so we'll just use that, clear away his damage buff or his uh, armor, sorry. And then we'll pick up a double pumpernickel charging in a sec. And then once that's done, let's go this, hopefully clear out Tannenbaum skill, only to refresh it, how good. All right. Um, 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 um. Alright, this is turning into a bit of a stall early, which is unideal. So... Very unideal to stall this early into a fight. So we're just going to have to hope we can get some nice good cascades. 
and some demolitions talents would also be really nice about now guys I only went to the effort of putting that talent on for you to actually do something <laughs> ah dearie me we are in a spot of bother guys we don't have the damage output to to beat back Tannenbaum and he is just out healing us between his armor and the damage share and the armor that's coming from Dougal variant next to him. We are in a patch of trouble right now. Um, I really should have brought charge control in. I really, really should. But my three star charge. <laughs> All right. Now we're in real trouble. We've got the blaze ailment and it's gonna just rip through my defense team. Ah, <laughs> oh, this has happened before. Having deja vu. <laughs> okay. Um, this fight's not gonna win. I can't win it from here. There's too much healing. Um, or rather, too much overhealing and I don't have the, yeah, charge control to, to lock them out, so, yeah. Unfortunate, but not a lot I can do about it. I'll keep playing, but I don't think I'm even going to get a kill on Tannenbaum at the moment. Not with the way this is going. Um, yeah. Which is really unfortunate, because I was on a good run. Um, but, yeah, the only... What I was saying before is I should have brought charge control along, but the problem is, is that there's no decent charge control heroes on 3-star. The only ones are Trackdown who's red, and Bucky, who is also red. Which means that if I was to bring them along, I would have to be doing like a 4-1 split of four reds and one other color, or I'd have to ditch the double pump in it. Which, the way this has gone, may not have been a bad thing to take um, the mindless attack on, but yeah, we didn't do it, so yeah. All right, Princess Lena is up next. So, what do we got? We've got a <coughs> CMYK tank, double blue flank, double red wing. So, uh, I should probably get rid of... Hmm, I don't want to get rid of the pumper nickels, but we really should probably get rid of... Get some green heroes in here. And the logical way of doing it is to drop pump and go for double green. So then at least we've got strong across the board. Um, but I don't like that. What's her burn? Her poison, sorry. 160 over 3. Mm. Um, maybe we go with one track down for charge control. Then we go with double Vittoria for some damage output. All right, let's see how that goes. I don't know if this is gonna work out. Um, yeah, let's just see what happens, I guess. So, we'll take the blue match onto the yellow, uh, sorry, the greens to start ourselves off. Um, after that, probably blue match onto purples and got a lucky little green and red and another red one, so that's a little bit lucky. Um, I think we charge control on Helix. Bit unlucky there with the, the dodges um, and the family bonus that procced, but we we'll got another red match. This should charge track down again, so we can pop that out on you. A lot of dodge. Wow, that's a lot of dodging. Okay. Um, didn't realize this was dodge central. Oh, I didn't realize I had Victoria's charged. It's a shame. All right. Double tap with the Victoria's, and then I guess we just go this move. Helix is unfortunately charged, so 
It's okay, at least it killed someone that was already... Like, I didn't have the mindless attack actually stay out, so the Soul Connect doesn't really do anything. Um, there is an awful lot of bleed damage going on on that team. Um, <laughs> like, an awful lot, so I guess Victoria's been good in that regard. Um, track down, let's pop you on him. And then... Now we've just got Pumpernickel to deal with. <laughs> so it's worked out okay. Um, been a pretty favourable board, I think, as well. I don't think it was entirely due to necessarily my choices, but definitely having strong coloured tiles made a difference um, against the majority of that. So there we go. Anyway, five more attacks done. One loss, uh, which was effectively a Tannenbaum stall situation, uh, which is the worst kind of fight in these three-star charged attacks because there's not much you can really do about it um, once he gets a little bit of a roll on. Um, unless you've got charge control and a dispel ready to go, um, you're in a little bit of a pickle. And there's not too many charge control heroes in three-star. Um, I think I mentioned earlier that there were only two. There's a couple more than that, but there's not many more. Um, so obviously, track down does mindless attack. He's the only three-star mindless attack hero. Um, Bucky, he does a silence to one enemy, um, but there's a couple others that do uh, some charge cutting, like you've got um, Magnus, the, the three-star blue vanilla hero, he does some charge cut. I'm pretty sure Nash does charge cutting as well, the green uh, three-star uh, from season two, but there's not many options, which makes charge control quite difficult to to use in the three-star arena. But anyway, this worked out this time around, so we'll just have to see if it is also workable against the next Tannenbaum tank we find. Um, but I think for it, I might go with a double track down situation. So, but yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, one loss, bad loss, um, and our defense team is is still sitting at that C grade. So, see how things go tomorrow, I guess. But anyway, that's all I got for today. Uh, good luck with your own tournament hits, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then. Good luck, stay safe, and happy gaming. Cheers. Bye.